Natalia Shire. And the paparazzi busted down the gate to chase and get photos of you, Talia. It's a thrill to be here, part of the ceremony, as Francis gets his star on the walk of fame. I also want to mention again that Ellie, my extraordinary sister-in-law, is here, who has shared many magical years with Francis. Uh, I first met uh, Francis when I was born, and I, <laughs> I, I mean, and I wanted to say we were a family of five. We had. A uh, musician father, a mother who had an old time beauty and great comedic timing, our older brother August Coppola, who was a great dreaming philosopher and always our teacher. Um, I think I was I, I was I was Francis's first first audience. Um, there were the polio years, and during that time. Francis began to experiment with puppetry, storytelling, characters. He was also a ventriloquist, pretty good. One of the reasons I don't sit on his lap is because, you know, I don't want to be like a dummy, but <laughs> he never moved his lips. Actually, he did move his lips, but he was really, he was great. He, he I just want to say my brother was my great protector and my, my playmate in the make-believe, in the wonders of pretending and storytelling. And he took that great talent of his right to college. And I saw Francis act in As You Like It. He's I mean, a good actor, really. You're good. He's good, OK? I, took, I want you to know that also. He was a great director of Tennessee Williams works, Eugene O'Neill, and Francis did the most daring thing, is he wrote a musical, H.G. Wells, and it was terrific. But his dream was to make movies. And he came here, and that is what he does and continue to do. Uh, You know, I, this has been an extraordinary time to celebrate Godfather 50 years. It's unbelievable. And I decided to go back and watch this great movie and see what, what makes it so alive. I mean, it's extraordinary rhythms of, of color, uh, of great actors. But I, I have to say, in my re-experience of this movie, um, it was as if everything went still. And there was right there, while I was watching this movie or experiencing this movie, something of a great depth occurred. I mean, deep, deep down depth of ideas and bits and pieces of, vi of visions that, that I think th still thrill us until this movie is alive. But also a richness of humanity is in this movie. And I know that comes from my brother. Uh, but it's alive, and it's his own extraordinary piece. Now, I, you know, I have my lines written on my, my right hand because, you know, the hand is what I love. It's still our, our family, so I write that, and I'm the pinky. So the pinky uh, says, I must go to this quote. And here's the quote. It's Isaac Newton, and he said, If I see further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Francis, whoa, you're a giant. <laughs> Francis is a giant, and he sees what is ahead. He's a visionary, and he has the courage to take what he sees ahead and turn it into a movie. Now, I don't want to embarrass Francis and, and, and try to stand on your shoulders. So what I will do, or what I will say is, I will, from time to time, as I know many thousands will, I'm going to stand 
on your store. I love you, my brother and my friend. I love you, Francis. <laughs>